Welcome everyone. Today's video finds us over here on the west side of Bangkok. We're right over here by the southern bus terminal and we're going to take a look at this night market right over here. This is the Sai Tai Mai Center or the Sai Tai Mai Night Market and it's uh, just one out here near the bus terminal and it's full of uh, lots and lots of food, lots of shopping. So uh, let's go take a look and see what we do. This is the market, and it's right next to the road that goes to Nakom Patom, and eventually down south to Pechaburi and all of that. But the uh, bus terminal, if you want to catch it, if you're going to take a bus to Krabi or Phuket or anywhere down to the south, this is where you leave from, right over by it. And it's probably 300 meters away from the bus station. So anyway, there's uh, the second level. There's some restaurants up there, so you can sit and have some uh, some food and overlook the market. So let's walk through here. Most of this is shopping right here and the food is over on that end of it. Looks like here they have the beef buffet for 229 baht, so like seven US dollars or so. Now most of these night markets, about two thirds of it will be shopping and then about a third of it will be the food. I'm not a big shopper, so I always kind of skip over most of the shopping. But you can kind of get an idea. They have everything. They have uh, ladies' shoes here. They have women's clothing. They'll have nails. They'll have hair salons in here so you can get your hair cut. Nail salons, contact lenses. Over here, some uh, shorts, stuff like that. Some stickers. And then um, tons and tons of ladies' apparel. And then they have another section over there. I think that's all like shopping and barber, barber shops, stuff like that. You can see contact lenses, cactus, cell phone accessories. Over here's a nail salon. So you can find everything here at these uh, night markets and you can see it just keeps on going down there. And it's been rainy so everything's covered up. Okay, so this is the part of the market that we wanted to check out. So this is all of the food. And like I said, it's about a third of the market. And right over that away, if you can see, that's the bus station. So let's see if we can find something really nice here, find some good snacks to eat. So here he's making up the Kanon Bung. So he put the black food coloring in it, so it's like the charcoal color. And then over here, these are the traditional that you see. And they put the cream and the foie tang. And you can see here, here's the finished product. And you can get a, like a mix. So you can see that's just a little pancake. And then he's got the cream and he's putting some chocolate on it. it looks quite nice. Here we got the big old pork shank. So they just uh, sell it right here. He butchers it up. And the Thais buy this here and then they take it home. You can see the boiled eggs. Yeah, this looks really nice. A little bit of the soup. So here she's making up some of the shrimp and a little octopus, the takoyaki, I think is what you call it. Throwing a little bit of the onions. So you can get these here, it looks like six pieces for 30 baht or eight for 40. Lots of desserts. And then they have like a little sit down restaurant here. This is the goi young. This is the like the grilled banana. And then they put like that really sweet syrupy uh, sugary sauce. You can get uh, one stick for 10 baht or you can get uh, buy five and get one free. So 50 baht for six. And then she's grilling it right there. And then she smashes it down right here in this little tool. Here she's making up some of the kanom croat. And she's putting a lot of coconut in it. They just put the, uh, the coconut milk right there and then they put the toppings on top of it and then they cook it up. He's got like the uh, shrimp paste and then he's putting the breading on it right there and then he deep fries it right next here. And this is the finished product right over here. He's uh, cooking up the, uh, the squid egg and they put it on like the little cabbage, like a little bit of salad. You can get the small for 50, the medium for 60 or the big for 100. This is a popular dish. You see it at a lot of the night markets. 
And over here, he's got the meat on a stick. Then he's got his toppings right there to the sauce to go on it. So what you do is when you come to these markets, you just come over here and you pick out whichever ones you want. And then they'll uh, warm it up back there. And the meat on a stick is a staple in the Thai diet. You can see it steaming right there and it smells really, really nice. So this is the Kanom Babin. These are the little Thai pancakes. So right here, she's making it up. So that's that, the young coconut. And then they just make it into like a little pancake. And this is one of my favorite things to eat. So right here, she's making these little uh, like pork and carrot, like a spring roll. She has the lettuce and stuff. Then she wraps them up. And then these are the finished product. She put in some of the little, uh, like the crab meat and stuff like that. And it are hot dogs, whichever you want. So here they got a whole bunch of like the deep fried stuff. Little bits of shrimp and corn and mushroom. You can get it uh, from 20 baht up to 30. And then over here, this is where they're uh, cooking it up. So it's a hot job. So she dumps it all in there and then she deep fries it all. And then she puts over here to strain the oil off and then they serve it. Here they have some of the little grapes and the strawberries that are like candied. Yeah, up to about a year ago, you never saw that at any of the night markets. Now you see it at all of them. Here has some uh, the squid and he'll grill it up. And then check out the durian right here. So he's cutting it up. It has these big, huge thorns. So these are quite sharp. And what they do is they hit it with a stick and they find the little pocket that has the fruit in it. And oh, it smells so terrible. Either durian, either you love it or you hate it. And it is a strong smell. I always wonder about stuff like this. Like who is the first person ever to try eating it? Because it smells so bad. And then here's the finished product right here. So they weigh it out. This is a, a popular, popular uh, fruit to eat. And you can see just how he uh, cuts it up. So the price on it is 49 baht per keed. The keed is a Thai unit of measurement, which is a hectogram. So it'll be 490 baht for one kilo. We got some fried chicken. Oh, and then we got some of the little sausages grilling up right here. Some of the little pork ones. Just to give you an idea, they have a whole row a little sit down restaurants. So they have the hot pot, Japanese food. They have the noodles, steak, pretty much anything you can want. And then right here next to it, we got some som tom. So here she's making up the som tom. They throw all the toppings right inside there. Lots of chilies. So just throw the tomatoes and the lime and the chilies in there. Now, if you get it without much spice, you'll get a little bit of the spice from a person that was here before you. So you never know exactly what you're gonna get when you get the som tom. She's throwing the fish sauce in there, the nam bla. And then they just mash it up with that, that pestle. And then throws in the papaya, the noodles, everything you want, all the little shrimp. So somebody's gonna get that and enjoy. And some more meat on a stick. Some of the little squid, little octopus. Yeah, this market has a lot of that. Have the pork belly, the mugrop they call it. Making up some popcorn over here. Some more sit down restaurants. Yeah, there is tons of food at this place. Right here, they're making some of the cow mook guy. This is one of my favorite. It's the, like the halal food. You see it over here, they cook, they make that yellow rice and then they put the chicken on top of it. It is quite delicious. And this is a little container here for 50 baht. So he's deep frying some fish. And then he's got like kai jiao, everything else over here. So those are those fish that have their head that are bent down, kind of a weird looking fish. And this is uh, after he deep fries them. Got some fried chicken. And then, yeah, I don't know if you can see that steam coming off right here. They just cooked up all these chicken feet. 
and you got the little legs and the little the little giblets and everything and some of the blood this is the blood and they make it into like a jelly and they just eat that and there's the chicken breast and then here they got those big huge isan sausages these are 25 baht each so you just come up and choose out whichever one you want and then he'll warm it up right here on the grill so we got some poi tot which is like the oyster omelet you can see he's making it right here yeah this you see it in all the night markets this is a popular thai food And then they sell it up on like the Brussels sprouts. Right here, what this is, this is the Sai Young, or this is the intestine. So they cook it up here, they grill it up, and then he's just dicing it up. Yeah, I don't really eat this, it's not my favorite. This is before he uh, cuts it up. You can see right all around here is clothes and accessories. Now, this market is quite large. Lots and lots of stuff here to see. So you can't go to a market without seeing the insects. They got the fried lizards and crickets. And so the price right here, you can get it for a 30, 40, or 50 baht, whatever you get. So the fried male crickets, I'm not sure how they can tell if it's a male or a female. What he's making up right here, this is the roti saimai. It's the Thai version of basically cotton candy. So they grill these little sugar tortillas you can see the whole stack over there and then you buy this like sugar floss and then you put it inside of it and you roll it up like a little burrito so you can get like uh, the tortillas and this little bag here for 40 baht or you can get this huge huge bag for 150 baht this is a really nice display here of the meat on a stick and over here you can get fried rice doesn't look like anybody's in here right now and some smoothies. Watermelon, coconut, apple, kiwi, whatever you want. So much food here. So here have the jackfruit. She's cutting it up. So the price on it is 30 baht for 100 grams, up to one kilo for 220. This guy here is cooking up the fish balls. Then he has like the little vegetable cakes also that he's cooking up right over there. And it's quite a hot job. And then everything else they have deep fried. And it's kind of interesting. Got these little like ham and cheese sandwiches that they've deep fried also. And then they've thrown some ketchup on top of it. And then the little hot dogs. Kind of a mixed bag of deep fried stuff. So here's these little desserts. So these are like a jello. And I have no idea how they make them to make them look like little chilies and everything else. It must be uh, quite labor intensive. Then some fresh sushi, 10 baht a piece. You just come over here and pick out whichever so one you want. She's making up the gapao, gapao mu, and then she's frying the eggs in the back right there. This is actually really cheap, so you get one of these for 25 baht or 30 baht if you want the, uh, the fried egg. And then right next to it is all the bugs again. So you see all them in there. The coconut worms. The bamboo worms right here. So some more of the fried chicken, the chicken feet, and the blood. There's a big old huge things of that blood. And some more chicken here. So he's putting it up in the noodles. This is that really, really thick soup. A huge pot of it. Got some, uh, look at those uh, sausages. Got the flames shooting up. And then she's over here cooking up some more of them. It is so hot and she's wearing like a stocking cap. <laughs> and then uh, over here is all the finished product. So they're selling these here for 13 baht each and 16 for the bigger one. Big huge vat of the soup. Got the pork balls in there. And they have that big huge like daiso. Now the name of this is like goitiao pakma or something like that. That's like the coconut milk. They put it on there and it steams it. 
And then these are all the toppings that she puts on corn, little crab meat, and you can see uh, toppings that she's putting on. And then you just uh, eat it with the fish sauce or the soy sauce, you just put it right on top of it. That's the finished product right there. Looks like she's done it a time or two. The banana leaf. Here, this is the Sam O or the Pomelo. It's 80 baht for one of those, and then they got some nice looking strawberries. Strawberries usually in Thailand are quite a bit smaller than these. These look really, really nice. And some of the snails, they deep fry them back there. They're just steaming right here. And the shrimp and the shells. So you can see the prices. Over here, they got some of the crab. So she's making up some pad thai. So you get one of these little packages here for 20 baht, which is a pretty good deal. You can see the peanuts and the lime and all the noodles and the sprouts in there. And they got the little shrimp and onions. This is the squid egg and they, she's grilling it up in the banana leaves. So you see she's taking them off that and she's put it in the cup. So uh, buy 10, get one free. You're just grilling right there. And then some of the sausages. Over here, they've got some jellyfish. You get uh, one piece over here for 20 baht. All right, guys, that's going to finish up our video over here at Sai Tai Mai Center or the Sai Tai Mai Night Market. This is a lot of fun. This is great. It's really starting to fill up. The uh, rain is kind of holding out, so the ties are starting to show up now, and it's getting really, really crowded. There is so much to see here, lots of shopping, so much food. It's uh, quite cool. This is to the west of Bangkok. Like I said at the start of the video, it's over here by the Southern Bus Terminal. So if you're over here catching the bus, uh, if you have a couple hours to kill, walk over here and enjoy this night market. It is uh, definitely worth your time. Uh, I'm not sure when it closes, probably about midnight. I'll try to find the hours online if I can, and I'll try to post that in the description. So anyway, uh, if you like the video, make sure you smash like. Uh, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If you've ever been here, or if you have any questions, let me know. Probably uh, if you're in Bangkok and you wanna come over here to it, you know, jump in a taxi, come over here, it's not too far. Pretty easy to get over here. Uh, definitely uh, leave me a comment, smash the like, and subscribe if you're new. And uh, until next time, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.